Hello students, in this video lecture, we will see how to evaluate complex integrations using a residue theorem. We will solve this example, integral over c 4 minus 3z upon z square into bracket z minus 1 into bracket z minus 2 dz where c is the contour mod z equals to 3 by 2. So, what is contour? Basically, contour is a simple closed curve with direction. Now, Cauchy's residue theorem states that if f of z is analytic function in a closed curve C except at finite number of poles within C then integral over C f of z dz equals to 2 pi i times sum of residues of f of z at the poles inside C. Here we'll find residues of f of z at poles inside C. It's very important. Poles inside C. So this is our function f of z equals to 4 minus 3z upon z square into bracket z minus 1 into z minus 2. So this function has three poles. Basically poles means where function is not defined. So here at z is equal to 0 z is equal to 1 and z is equal to 2 we have these three poles here z is equal to 0 is a double pole because we have z square in the denominator and z is equal to 1 and 2 are called as simple poles so out of these three poles how many poles lies inside our contour c so this is our contour C, mod z equals to 3 by 2. What is this? So this is a circle center at origin with radius 3 by 2. And it is in anti-clockwise direction. So this is our contour C. Here z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 lies inside this contour C. But z is equal to 2 lies outside. So we will find residues only at z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1. Here z is equal to 0 is a double pole and these two 1 and 2 are simple poles. 0 and 1 lies inside our contour C. Therefore integral over C f of z dz equals to 2 pi i times residue of f of z at z is equal to 0 plus residue of f of z at z is equal to 1. Now next question is how to find residues of f of z. So we are going to use this formula to find residue of f of z at z is equal to a. Here r is the order of pole. So for double pole at z is equal to 0, r is equal to 2. So when you put r is equal to 2, in the above equation we get residue of f of z at z is equal to 0 equals to so 1 upon 1 factorial into d by dz of z minus 0 square into 4 minus 3z upon z square into bracket z minus 1 into bracket z minus 2 evaluated at z is equal to 0 so here this z square and this z square will get cancelled and when you differentiate this bracketed term, we get 3z square minus 8z plus 6 upon z square minus 3z plus 2 square. So when we evaluate this at z is equal to 0, so wherever z replace that by 0, we we'll get 6 by 4, which is equal to 3 by 2. So this is a residue of f of z at z is equal to 0. Similarly, for second pole at z is equal to 1. Now this is a simple pole that is r is equal to 1. Therefore the residue of f of z at z is equal to 1 is 1 upon 0 factorial into bracket. Now that is a 0th derivative therefore we are not going to differentiate it. 
So when there is a simple pole, we don't have to take a derivative. You simply put A is equal to the value of pole. So Z minus 1 into 4 minus 3Z upon Z square into bracket Z minus 1 into bracket Z minus 2 evaluated at Z is equal to 1. So here this Z minus 1, Z minus 1 will get cancelled and we'll get 4 minus 3z upon z square into bracket z minus 2. Now, evaluate this at z is equal to 1. We'll get 4 minus 3, that is 1 upon minus 1, which is equal to minus 1. So, residue of f of z at z is equal to 1 is minus 1. So, now, we got both the residues, 3 by 2 and minus 1. Now, you remember how to solve this by using Cauchy's residue theorem we will solve this now Cauchy's residue theorem says integral over c f of z dz equals to 2 pi i times sum of residues at the poles inside c therefore integral over c f of z dz equals to 2 pi i times residue at z is equal to 0 plus residue at z is equal to 1 which is 2 pi i times 3 by 2 minus 1 that is 2 pi i times now 3 by 2 minus 1 is 1 by 2 2 2 will get cancelled pi i so here the answer of this integration is pi times i so this is how by using Cauchy's residue theorem we will solve complex integrations. Thank you.